Natasha, so today I'm going to be bringing you a what to pack for Coachella video because Coachella, um, the first day is tomorrow of weekend one, which is really crazy to think about because I feel like it was just January and I was just buying my tickets. So I'm a little shocked, just, just a little shocked. But if this is your first time to my channel, welcome and don't forget to subscribe. The subscribe button is right here. Just click here to subscribe. And while you're at it, give this video a big thumbs up. Let's try and get this video to like 650 thumbs up and then I'll be happy. But without further ado, let's get into the video. So obviously for Coachella, the one thing you don't want to forget is your actual ticket. So don't forget to bring your wristband because without your wristband, you can't get into the actual festival. So that's probably a good thing that you should bring and that should be the first thing that you put in your bag. Now I'm going to start with some of the basic things you need and I'm not going to go into like the general stuff like underwear or your actual outfits for Coachella, but actual things that you've never necessarily thought you needed, but some things that will actually help your experience and make your life a little bit easier while at the festival. So one thing you literally cannot forget are sunglasses. Sunglasses are going to be your best friend. It's going to be hot, it's going to be sunny, and you're definitely going to want to have a pair of sunglasses so your eyes don't get sore from the sun, I guess. One thing that I found really interesting while looking up some things to bring to Coachella was actually to bring a scarf. And this is like a big, big scarf. I've got a couple of them, but you can find these super cheap, like 10 bucks at Forever 21. And what you can actually do with them is just like tie them around your waist or put them in your backpack. They're super light. And then you can use this to sit on on the grass instead of bringing like a big heavy blanket or a towel or something because you're definitely gonna wanna sit and sitting on the grass can be annoying sometimes. I mean, it's not like that big of a burden, but if you wanna make yourself a little more comfortable, you can pick up like a cute scarf that maybe goes along with your outfit. And they're huge, like two or three people can definitely sit on this. So that's something I would definitely tell you to bring to the festival if you wanna be comfortable and wanna have a cool place to sit. One thing that some people don't think about is bringing a sweatshirt. It actually gets cold in the desert, believe it or not. I mean, that is desert climate, hot during the day and cold at night. So definitely bring a sweatshirt for afterwards and at night when you wanna be comfy and you don't wanna freeze your butt off. So yes, bring a sweatshirt. Cash. Cash is going to be your best friend. Even though most places in the festival are going to take American Express, I highly recommend just bringing cash because it is possible that you could lose your wallet, lose all your credit cards, and with cash, if you only bring like enough for the day, at least you know you're not going to be losing that much money if something does possibly happen to your wallet. Okay, the next thing is a bandana. Even though it's like a cute fashion statement, it's also kind of there to protect you at the festival. There is a lot of dust and you're going to be walking a good amount of time from where you get dropped off in the shuttle or from where you park to the actual entrance and there's a lot of dust that gets kicked up just because of people walking so you can actually just take your bandana and put it over your face and you can protect your lungs from the dust and it's kind of a cute fashion statement you can end up tying it around your neck or like your arm or something and you know it's super easy to throw it in your backpack if you don't really want it or throw it in your fanny pack which kind of leads me to the next thing a fanny pack and a backpack are super duper necessary chances are you're not going to want to be carrying around a wallet or a purse for that matter so a fanny pack is one of those things that you can just like stuff things into, put it around your waist, and not have to worry about it. This is actually a really cute fanny pack that I like from Avenue D. I think they started selling these on Urban, but you can get them from AvenueD.com. Super cute. This one's like a silky material, you know, has some grid lines on it and it's gold. So definitely bring a fanny pack. And I would highly recommend a cute little backpack as well. This is just a small little leather backpack and it's kind of like a boho feel to it. So it's definitely gonna go with the festival and you can just like put stuff in it because duh, that's what you do with a backpack. But it also just kind of, keeps things out of the way so you don't have to be holding everything. You can throw your phone and sunglasses and whatnot in there. Okay, tampons. Tampons are going to be your best friend and obviously not if you're a guy, but for girls, you never know. You might just end up getting your period while at Coachella and the last thing that you wanna happen is that you bleed through one of your outfits. So I would definitely recommend bringing a tampon on hand with you wherever you go, whether you have your period or not, because you might run into someone that's looking for a tampon and you can be the tampon hero and give them a tampon and be their best friend forever because trust me, if something does end up happening, you don't want to be caught in a situation where you're like, oh my gosh, they don't sell tampons here. I don't know anybody that has a tampon. I need a tampon, so bring tampons. Your phone will die. So bring chargers. Don't just bring a regular wall charger, bring a portable charger. Bring like three portable chargers because if your phone dies, you don't want to be like phoneless because then you can't take pictures and then you can't put it on Snapchat because you want everyone to know that you're at Coachella, right? So definitely bring a couple portable chargers so you can just charge it up. And I'm not actually sure if they have charging stations at Coachella. I think they do, but most of the time they're going to be cluttered with a ton of people trying to charge their phones. So definitely invest in a portable charger. It has saved my life multiple times when I don't have a charger on me and I'm just like, oh hey, plug it in. Haha, look at me. I have charge wherever I want. Okay, so I know this isn't necessarily necessary, but a disposable camera is kind of cute because you get that old vibe with pictures. And I know a lot of the time you're not gonna be able to bring an 
actual big like DSLR camera into the festival. Obviously you can use your phone for pictures, but I think a cute way just to like save the memories and be super cute and go back to the 90s is have a disposable camera, so yeah. Okay, this one I very strongly recommend, bring a bathing suit. Chances are you're not going to be getting to the festival right at 11 and if you're staying at a hotel, there's probably a pool and you might want to tan and relax because Coachella is very taxing. It's very taxing. You're up all night, you know, you barely get any sleep, you're in the desert, it's hot, you're sweaty, you were dehydrated. So if you just want to relax, bring a bathing suit because whether or not you have a pool at your hotel, you're probably going to meet someone that's staying at a house that has a pool and somebody that you know is staying at a house that has a pool. So please, 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 for the sake and glory of God, bring a bathing suit because it'll change your life and if you don't well obviously you can borrow it from somebody else or you can buy one but it's just easier to bring your favorite bathing suit especially if you have like one that you just like love and you want to debut at Coachella be like hey cute my new bathing suit yeah okay now moving to toiletries some things that I highly recommend and actually like I'm going to force you to bring is sunscreen because again you're in the desert it's going to be hot the sun is going to be beating on you all day there's not a lot of shade at the actual festival so sunscreen is your best friend. Do not leave the house without sunscreen. This is just a sprayable like body sunscreen, but make sure to get face sunscreen because you don't want to end up with age spots later in the future and be like, hey, I wonder where I got these. And you're like, oh, it's because I forgot to put on sunscreen for Coachella, even though Natalie Tasha told me like three times to do it and it was the most important thing. Please do not leave your house if you're going to Coachella without it because you're going to get sunburned. It's not going to be cute. And I don't want you guys to have wrinkles like later in life. Deodorant is a must. Obviously, this is one of those things that you shouldn't leave the house without anyways. But again, Again, hot, sweaty, desert, you're gonna stink. Bring deodorant and bring it in a backpack too, just so you can reapply and smell great. And if you meet a cute boy at the festival, you don't like give them a hug and she's like, oh my gosh, she stinks, cause that's not, that's not cute. Band-aids, I would say bring a couple band-aids like along with you in your fanny pack or in your backpack just in case something happens. Hopefully nothing will. Face wash, obviously again, this is another necessity, but hot, sweaty, desert, you get the point. It's, it's gross, you know, you're in the sun all day, you're sweating and there's dust around. You. It sucks, but it's a great time. I've never been actually, this is my first year, but I know friends that have and I've consulted with them. So face cleanser because you're gonna wanna get back from the festival and go to your hotel room, wash your face, and you're going to want to clean off everything. Face wash, face, face, face wash. Dry shampoo is one of those things that's going to be your best friend as well. Again, hot, sweaty, desert. I don't know how many times I have to say that, but just by bringing a little bottle of dry shampoo, this one is from Lush, and oh my gosh, I can't begin to explain to you how much I love this dry shampoo. I got it in July and I still have like that much left. I put this in like my January favorites just because it's so good. But you guys can pick this up. It's a little bottle from Lush. Throw it in your backpack. If you get greasy hair, if you're sweating, spritz a little into your hair and then boom, your hair is great again. Purell. This kind of goes with something that I don't actually have on hand with me, but baby wipes. It's going to be the easiest way to freshen up. If you don't have deodorant, if you forget your deodorant or if like the deodorant is a little too bulky for you, then just bring baby wipes. You can just wipe down, freshen up and it kind of has multiple uses. So let's say you go to the porta potty and there's no toilet paper. Well, hey, you've got baby wipes and you can wipe yourself with that. That stuff happens. There's 90,000 to 100,000 people at Coachella and there's a lot of people going through those bathrooms. It's gonna be gross. They might not have places to wash your hands so you can just wash your hands or bring some Purell. Purell is great too or bring both. So you can have both on hand and you can always stay clean. And especially if you're a germaphobe, there's a lot of germs and there's a lot of people and there's a lot of dirt, sweaty, dusty, hot, desert. And last but not least, the crowning jewel for every everything. If worse comes to worse and you forget your moisturizer and you forget your lotion and you forget literally anything, Vaseline. You can put Vaseline anywhere and it just makes your life better. Vaseline for your lips, best invention ever. It makes your lips shiny. It actually makes them look bigger. I mean, it makes mine look bigger and they're just like, they look kissable with Vaseline low key. But if your lips are dry, Vaseline is the best thing to put on and then you can use it as like a lotion too. So like pop a little jar of this into your backpack, into your fanny pack and you will be good to go. You get burned, put Vaseline. You get a cut, put Vaseline. Your lips are dry, put Vaseline. You got ashy knees, put Vaseline. Vaseline is your best friend. So yeah, those are kind of my weird things that you need to remember to bring to Coachella so that your experience is just 10 times better. But I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to give it a big thumbs up if you did and comment down below if you guys are going to Coachella or if you want to go to Coachella or if you want to see more like life hack videos because I kind of feel like this is a life hack video. But yeah, that's it. Don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to follow me on all of my social media so you guys can see what I'm doing when I'm not posting videos on YouTube. I post videos every single week, so subscribe to stay tuned to see everything that I post. Anyways, I love you guys so much. And if you guys are going weekend too, then I want to see you. I want to meet with you. So put that in the comments below too. Okay, I love you. I love you. Goodbye guys. Mwah.